Greetings from the nation's capital on the banks of the Rideau Canal. From Hollywood, it's Saturday Night Live in week 17 of the Canadian Premier League. Atletico Ottawa, just one change from the team that beat Cavalry last Saturday. Carl Howarth out on the right-hand side of midfield in for jean Aniel Assi. Four changes by Martin Nash after losing at home to Halifax last weekend. Into the back line, Australian Tess Mordecatis. Ferrari comes in, we think at right back, Max Ferrari. Bahia also recalled to the starting lineup. Babouli towards the near post, Espejo with the clearing head up. Adakubi got it back, Mordecatis trying to wrap his left leg around it. It was half a chance here. There's a little more intent now. Wright in behind. Brian Wright. 20 forward again. Bahia has kept it in. And he's left McDonald behind. Bahia. It's the opening goal. And it's Brian Wright against his old team. His first goal of the season. And there's been... A real flow about York United in the last five minutes, and the pressure has paid off. And York United, the bogey team for Atletico Ottawa, take the lead in the nation's capital. The nine stripes lead by a goal to nil. If there is a winner in this game, they will leap into the top four. And here comes Baye again up against McDonald. Well, now they know what he can do, and Santos couldn't miss. And two goals in four minutes. And the nine stripes are flying in the nation's capital. Again, down that right side. Bahia getting in behind. Great decision, great ball from right. Relief for York United. You've built a two-goal lead. And a threatening to add to it. Babuli into the area. Elijah Adekubi off the bar. And it should have been three, and he knows it. I'm not going to criticize right here. Mordekudas, cool. But then given away to Howarth. Oh, Carl Howarth has got a score. He has scored. And Atletico Ottawa have their response. And the skipper leads by example. It's game on in the nation's capital. Atletico Ottawa 1, York United 2. McDonald looking for a teammate over the head of Del Campo. Still there to be one. Del Campo chests it down. Sumaru did well to dispossess him, but then gave it away to McDonald. McDonald is always rising. But it was certainly worth taking on the shot. So, approaching the hour mark. Howarth looks for goal, finds the goal. Carl Howarth has two. Jensopoulos couldn't deal with it. And we're all square in Ottawa. Atletico Ottawa 2, York United 2. It's a brace for Carl Howarth. And as you rightly said, Atletico Ottawa have been building that pressure for the last 10 minutes. Finally rewarded. Oh, my goodness. Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in off Nate Ingham. It's going to go down as an own goal as York United celebrates. Sumaro may have had the shot. It rebounded off the post and off the back of Nate Ingham into the back of the net. And no sooner were Atletico back on terms then the nine stripes are back in front. It's 3-2 to York United. Dangerous moments for Atletico Ottawa. Shaping to take it right-footed. Tried to go to the near post. Ingham squarely behind it at the expense of a corner. I don't know who Mo Babouli thought he was kidding there. Babouli's getting involved in the play. Canyon Lapare trying to pay Brian Wright and put the office line. And well done by Nate Ingham. Spread himself and collected it. 
seemed to have got his measure since half time. Iliadis, careless. Wright picks it up. Gagnon Lapare. He can hit him. Decides not to this time. Babuli. Teasing the Santos. Santos again. Might have done better. Had an opportunity, got in behind, but couldn't hit the target. Yeah, it's great front front plate. Sinora picks it up. Sapater had to be quick. Bassett flicks it forward for Del Campo. Looking to go around the outside, Del Campo. That's a decent ball. Oh, my goodness me. And that's a really good goal. And Diego Espejo with 10 minutes to go has tied it up. Ruben Del Campo, what a cross. Wally the Dinosaur is celebrating. So are the fans. What a game in Ottawa. It's 3-3. Maybe, just maybe. Ferrari. Still Max Ferrari. Takes a tumble. Referee tells himself to get himself up. And blows his final whistle in a thoroughly entertaining encounter in the nation's capital.